Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can implement Material Bottom Tab Navigator in React Navigation version 5. So this is the third video in this tutorial series where I'm showing you all the different parts of the React Navigation. Today we will be learning how to implement this Material Bottom Tab Navigator. So as you can see over here, whenever we are clicking on any tab, so the color of the tab area changes and we are having our ripple effect as well, right? So this is the material bottom tab navigator which we are going to implement in this tutorial. If you want to implement bottom tab navigator, that is also similar to this. So I will discuss that also and as i told you this is the third video in this tutorial series in my previous tutorials i have already shown you how we can implement the stack navigator and how we can implement the draw navigator so if you haven't seen those tutorials yet i would highly recommend first go ahead and see those tutorials then come here and see this tutorial it will be helpful for you so if you are interested in this kind of tutorial then hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and also as i told you in my last tutorial i have shown you how to implement the drawn navigator and if i click over here then our drawer is opening but in that tutorial i have only shown you how we can implement at the basic part of the drawn navigator like we will have different menus over there and if we click we will be at different screens but i haven't shown over there how we can implement these custom navigations so these custom elements will be my next tutorial so if you are also interested to that tutorial then make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post that video so without wasting any more time let's get started with today's topic which is this material bottom tab navigator okay so this is our project in which we are working on we have implemented this stack navigator in our first part of this tutorial series and we have implemented this draw navigator which i have just described that this is the basic draw tab navigation which i have implemented in my previous tutorial and in my next tutorial i will be showing you how we can add the custom contents custom layout to this drawer now in this tutorial i'm going to implement this material bottom tab navigator and for that we need to go to the documentation of the official react navigation site and over here in this navigators we can see the create bottom tab navigator so this is for the bottom tab and we have to copy this code to install the bottom tabs and then we can add the tab navigator screens similarly as we have done previously for the drawer navigator and the stack navigator so it is similar through the material tab navigator as well so if we look into it then we can see that we have to install the material tab navigator and we have similar kind of tab navigator screens set up right but we have something more over here in the material bottom tab navigation so that's why i'm showing you this in this tutorial because we have this material ui animation and the level is displaying whenever we are visiting that particular screen right now let me first install this package and over here we can see that we have to install two package one is obviously the material bottom tabs and the other one is react native paper right so let me just paste it and install it so we have installed it successfully and then we have this tab navigator but we need to implement something extra over here so for that if i come to the bottom of this page then we can see that we have much more codes over here first we need to import this create material bottom tab navigator from react navigation and then we need to import these things and also we need to import the icons from react native vector icons so i have already previously installed that package over here as you can see i have installed this react native vector icons and from this we are having this hamburger icon right so let me just clean this app.js file a little bit and also let me tell you i have created two more screens over here because we are going to add four screens for the material bottom tab navigator 
previously we had two screens which is home stack and detail stack for home stack we have the home screen and for data stack we have the data screens right and now we have created this explorer and the profile screen these are basic screens nothing fancy over there and now let me create another screen called main tab screen dot js and over there i will add these home stack and this detail stack so i have cut those things and paste it over here and now we need to import obviously this react from react and then we will need this stack because we have already imported this create stack navigator over here and as currently we are in the screens directory so we need to change the path as well so the screens directory path should be updated and then we need to grab the icons from the vector icons so now our app.js is much more leaner now so we have the error just ignore that as of now now i will create this main tab screen and in main tab screen we will return this tab navigator currently over here we have three screen i will add four screen so another screen will be added over here and that would be explore and for that it would be explore screen and for the profile it would be profile screen so make sure you import this profile screen and the explore screen in this file i have imported those and then i need to export this main tab screen now save this and for this drawer screen i can import this main tab screen and i have just commented out this detail screen so now saved it now we are still having some error so now let me just close this metro bundler ui and recompile the project once again because we have added a new package over here okay so now it is showing the error can't find the variable tab and yeah we haven't we haven't created the tab constant so here is our tab so create material bottom tab okay that is also missing the main thing is missing so added those yeah so now the feed and the notification this will be replaced with the home stack screen and it will be home so our initial route will be home and for the notifications currently i will display the detail stack screen and also for the icons i need to change something because i'm not using the material icons i'm using the ion icons so for home i will use ios home so now the error has gone and now we can see that we can move between different screens and our tab navigator is implemented successfully now we need to change something because it is not looking good and also now if we look into this drawer then we can see that our drawer is opening properly so it is working as expected but currently we are having this home button only because obviously we have commented out this detail screen from this drawer screen but we will not use these details over here as i mentioned previously in this tutorial that we are going to implement the custom layout for this drawer i will be implementing those things in next tutorial so i'm just keeping this part so now we will make this tab navigator look properly so first of all for this active color we will use white color we will use tab bar color over here and for the color i will use this default color for the home 
so that color can be grabbed from this stack navigator so it has been added right now let me just quickly change the color for other tabs as well so now saved it now if i visit each tab then we can see that there are different colors and we have nice ripple effect right also i will change the header color as well so i will provide the header color for this notifications to this detail stack so just change that and also it is not looking good because for the menu background color we need to change the color as well so now it's looking good so that's the tutorial guys i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial if you do so like this video share with your friends and comment down below if you have any kind of suggestion for me and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this also wait for the next tutorial in my next tutorial i will be showing you the custom layout in the drawer in which i will implement the icons images in the drawer section so make sure you hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever i post that tutorial so in the meantime have a great day goodbye